And as many of us know, Alzheimer's doesn't only affect the person with disease, it also affects the caregiver. And as you just heard, Cynthia Guzman was diagnosed with Alzheimer's on her 63rd birthday. And she's here today to show that while the road ahead for her may be uncertain, right now the disease cannot silence her voice or stop her from walking with all of us and all of you. She walks to end Alzheimer's for herself and for the more than 5 million others with this disease nationwide. Amy uh, Lebetsamer is here today because she lost her dad this year after a seven-year battle with Alzheimer's. And Ron Lebetsamer was a genuine, hardworking, compassionate man with a huge heart and a, and a love for life. Amy serves on the San Francisco Walk Planning Committee and she supports the association's efforts in every way that she can. Because so many people can't fight anymore. Amy walks to end Alzheimer's with her family in memory of Ron and in honor of all the families who have lost someone they dearly love. Carol Lay is a caregiver for her husband, Ron Greppi, who was diagnosed with early onset in 2010. Carol works three part-time jobs and takes care of her 12 and 13 year old daughters. Wow. Nikki and Danielle. Balancing her life can be difficult, but Carol has found the strength and the support in her early stage support group at Kaiser. Carol and her daughters are driven to fight this disease any way that they can. They walk with their team, Little Purple Crayons. Are they out there today? All right. Uh, in support of Ray Greffy. And uh, Tisha Hilario is chair of the San Francisco Walk to Ends Alzheimer's Committee. She's been a longtime supporter of the walk after her company became involved nine years ago. And she sees too many people lose their battle with disease and isolation. She knows that by coming together, we can be a force for change. And she walks to end Alzheimer's in the never ending hope of a world without this disease. These four people and the symbolic flowers they hold represent the promises we have come together to fulfill. Promises to honor, to remember, to care and to fight. These promised flowers represent the diverse reasons we have gathered, and together we will create a dynamic, colorful, and meaningful garden. And many of you have put your hearts and thoughts into your own flowers. And if you currently have Alzheimer's disease or dementia, I'd like to ask you to raise your flower over your head and hold it there. If you are walking to end Alzheimer's because you lost someone you love to this disease, please raise your flower and hold it there. If you're walking to end Alzheimer's because you're supporting or caring for someone with this disease, please raise your flower. And if you're walking to end Alzheimer's because you want to stop this disease and help as many people as possible here in Northern California and Northern Nevada and across this country, please raise your flower. The names and the colors and the stories on these promised flowers show that we're all have followed different paths to get here this morning. But we're all united in one cause, which is taking one more step closer to a world without Alzheimer's. Together we will reclaim the future for millions, one step at a time. So let me ask you, are you ready to start the walk? Yeah. Right. Let's get started. 